Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Batten here. Today we're going to be talking about a, a bit of a situation that's been apparently brewing involving the no CV division that was made popular on Reddit a little while ago, about 28 days ago when this video goes live. And um, some interesting response from Wargaming and a supposed threatening to ban slash kick a certain person and or clan. Now, that part, that's there's a lot of Reddit here say about that part. So take it with a grain of salt, just because it's a whole lot of Reddit hearsay, but um, we'll get to that in a moment. So what's going on is if you watched a certain video that came out, I think yesterday, on a YouTube channel called Jake from Great Farm, he put up a video called Mr. Clear Skies, and in that video, it's a, a bunch of clips of him, some other players, using a strategy that involves using two kids in an Akazuki with the sole purpose of hunting down and getting the CV out of the game as fast as possible. You take the two kids, obviously because of the great AA of the kids and the US smokescreen, and you take the Akazuki because of its guns with the combined forces of basically two no-fly zones and the BERT of the Kitakazi's guns, you can quite easily hunt down the enemy's CV and take him out of the match. Now, this was a strategy that was posted on Reddit, again, like 28 days ago, by a fellow of the name of BFK. BFK is a member of 07. More on that in a second. So... In this video, there's a post that Jake brings up about halfway through the video, and it's a post that was made by Hoppa, who is the community manager for Wargaming North America, about, uh, I think this was roughly three, no, I'm sorry, it was roughly two and a half, three weeks ago, which was about like three or four days, maybe a week after the original strategy was posted on Reddit, and the, it's on the forums, by the way, and the original poster asked the questions, is it verboten to post about forming a division to hunt and kill the CV? I would just like a clarification on the rules here. And throughout the forum thread, people are saying, you know, they've posted about strategies to target the CV before, and their, um, their strategies got taken down almost immediately, yada, yada, yada. So Hoppa comes in here at the end and says this, There is nothing wrong with discussing tactics, mechanics, or trying to teach players how to play. However, actively promoting, discussing, and trying to promote or discuss griefing players in-game is an EULA violation. Griefing is just another way of saying harassing. So let's go ahead and actually look at the World of Warships EULA. So you can find this on the World of Warships website, and you scroll down to section 12, which is the rules. Now the EULA is that thing that you click yes, that you've read it, and you agree to it when you sign up for World of Warships. So these are the rules that you have agreed to follow. So if you scroll on down to section 12, and go on down to section 12.1.3, this is the first mentioning of, uh, mentioning of harassment. And it says, well, basically, the first part says in a very fancy way, you cannot harass, stalk, or threaten other users in the game. Okay, sounds fair enough. Scroll on down to 12.1.6, and these rules apply to both the game and to the official forums. You cannot transmit or... I'm oh, sorry, not that one. 12.1.6, you cannot transmit or communicate any content which at the sole and exclusive discretion of wargaming is deemed offensive, including language that is unlawful, harmful, threatening, abusive, harassing, defamatory, vulgar, obscene, sexually explicit, discriminatory, or otherwise objectionable, or that constitutes cyberbullying. So you can't do that. So, again, taking it at face value seems pretty straightforward and pretty, well, I mean, it may makes sense. Now, keep in mind, this is all at the discretion of Wargaming 2. So if they find it to be any of those things, including harassing, they can take action to remove you from the game or ban you or whatever they deem necessary. Okay. Now, in the EULA, in the rules section, that is the only part that I found to even mention the words harassment, which, again, is griefing. So, 
what happened with that fellow that I mentioned uh, uh, earlier, BFK, he's been streaming him and his clanmates going around and using this anti-CV division to create effect. He himself admits that it has about a 90% success rate. Do keep in mind that these guys are members of 07, which is like a super Unicum clan. And the guys he's playing with are obviously all around his skill level, which is super Unicum. So obviously the average CV player doesn't stand much of a chance with these guys coordinating and targeting the CV. So he's had great success, like I said. So what happened with him is that apparently, again, now this part is all Reddit hearsay. Apparently, Wargaming reached out to him and said, hey, you need to stop promoting this anti-CV div and streaming it and such, or we are going to kick 07 from the Clan Super Tester program. Now, the Clan Super Tester program, that's just like the Super Tester program where you get to try out all these new ships and give feedback to Wargaming and all that, but it's applied through the entire clan. So they went after BFK's clan in order to get him to stop promoting this division on his stream. Now, in my opinion, that right there seems a little extreme. I mean, if you have a problem with him doing this, then why not just, you know, issue him the warning or give him the ban rather than removing his entire clan from um, from the super tester program. I mean, obviously it was meant to put pressure on his clan to get him to stop and maybe make, give them second thoughts about doing that same division. Uh, now, it's kind of strange that Wargaming would do that if that is true. Although with some stuff that has happened in the past, I cannot say I wouldn't expect them to do that. It just seems extremely reactionary if it is if it is true now also keep in mind that all they're doing is taking a division that's super effective against the carriers and taking the carrier out as fast as possible to give their team a tactical advantage at the end of the day if you boil it down to what they're doing that that that's all that that they're doing now if you do go watch his streams you know obviously he's being very I guess the best word to say uh, to describe this is um, antagonistic, if you will. But at the end of the day, like I said, all they're doing is targeting the CVs and using a division that's very, very effective against the CVs. Now, take that right there, what they're doing, and apply it to any other class in the same situation. For example, a triple small links division. They are very, very, very good at dealing with battleships. And after the small links came out, I mean, shoot, I saw enough of them. Um, a triple Leon division, the uh, the Leon train that was popular a while ago. That was very, very good at taking cruisers out. And the triple Shimakaze division, you know, flug the flug the the, the cap with torpedoes. Yeah, a triple Kitakami. Oh wait, but. At the end of the day, what's different in this situation that would constitute that type of response from Wargaming? I never heard of Wargaming stepping in and telling streamers to stop running Triple Leon Divisions or Triple Shimakaze Divisions or Triple Small Links Divisions. I mean, and all those are targeting other classes in the game, but when a streamer goes and makes a Triple DD Division that's very effective against a CV, then they step in and tell him, hey, you gotta stop that. And some people are saying that they threatened him with a breach of the EULA, which, again, it's all Reddit hearsay, so take that with a grain of salt. But, in my personal opinion, it I don't see how, when you boil it down, this is a violation of the EULA. Now, again, this is all at Wargaming's discretion, so it doesn't really matter what I say, doesn't matter what you say, doesn't matter what anybody says. It's all at Wargaming's discretion at the end of the day. However, if you do go watch his clips and all, uh, he is being a little bit, like I said earlier, antagonistic toward the CV players. Not really, like, harassing them and chat or anything, but just the stuff that he's saying on stream. And if you are Wargaming looking at that and thinking, okay, this guy's in the uh, Super Tester program. Well, his whole clan's in the Super Tester program, like I said. 
super testers are kind of held to a very high standard as far as behavior goes because again these are guys that wargaming is entrusting to test ships and such so they're kind of representing wargaming so i think looking back on this that may have been what Wargaming didn't like. Not necessarily that he's taking a super effective division against the carriers, but maybe just his overall demeanor and stuff on stream. Now, again, if he said that, you know, Wargaming has, has come out right and said that, um, you know, they threatened me with an EULA, a breach of the EULA, and there's proof for that or proof of that comes out, then 100% I don't agree with that decision. But again, looking back on how he behaves on stream, I think that may have had something to do with it more so than just the division. Because again, like I showed you guys the EULA, there's nothing in there saying, you know, you can't target a certain class. That wouldn't make a sense in a strategy game. It makes sense to take out the CV so your team would have a, tact a tactical advantage with your CV. And I don't remember anything really being brought up about the 899 division that Euro made very popular uh, roughly, I think, six or seven months ago. And in that division, it was much harder to counter than this Triple DD division. In the Triple DD division, all you really have to do to counter it is just move your carrier with your team. Because if you move your carrier and you surround yourself with surface ships, then, well, it makes it a bit harder for the DDs to get to you. I get these guys are super unicorns, but I can't imagine that they could get through an entire team with just three DDs, you know? The 899 division, for those of you that don't know what that was, you took a tier 8 carrier like Graf Zeppelin and two Musashis, and you literally sniped the CV and his spawn. And in those clips, they were getting the CVs down in like two or three minutes. So that's much harder to counter because no tier 8 CV has enough deck armor to um, protect itself from Musashi's guns. So I think maybe the British ones might, but majority of them can't. So there's literally nothing they can do. They could try and run, but Musashi with spotter playing basically covers the entire cap. And in Euro's video, you know, there's actually a Lo Yang and I think a Belfast that try to smoke up their CV to keep them alive. So if Wargaming didn't say anything about that division, I can't really see how they would say anything or why they would say anything about this division. So again, a lot of it's Reddit hearsay. And just rumors so if that's not the case if wargaming hasn't come out and outright set told um bfk that you can't do this because it violates eula if that is you know true then yeah i that's doesn't make any sense in my opinion and you know is completely ridiculous but if they haven't and it's really just because of the way he's behaving on streaming because he's a super tester I could kind of see that because, again, if you ever apply for the super testing position, they actually go through and look at your chat logs and stuff and look at your behavior and such, too. So, you, you know, they do take extreme caution with who they pick for the super tester program, and they are very, very picky about things like that. So I think that might be the case here. But, again, if it's not, and they really did try to... Um, shove an e, uh, EU, uh, EULA, EULA, God, that gets hard to say after saying it six times, violation on him, that, that's ridiculous in my opinion. But again, I think it actually may be the other case. But anyway, guys, that's my opinion on this subject. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it, they really did try to hit him with an EULA violation? Um, I don't watch his streams regularly, so he may have had said something. I'm not sure. But if anyone has any more information on this topic, please feel free to share it in the comments down below. I'll uh, pin a comment with some updates if some more information comes to light. Okay, guys, hope you're having a great day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 20,000 subscribers. We're getting very close. Not very close. I'm sorry. We just passed the 15,000 subscriber um, milestone. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So help us get to 20,000 because, man, you guys really flew through from 10K to 15K. So I can't wait to get to that 20K mark. So, you guys, hope you have a great day. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.